Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's misconception in astronomy, we are going to talk about the sun. And does the sun always rise in the east and set in the west? So let's find out. Well, does the sun always set in the west, rise in the east? Well, the answer is sometimes. Well, on two days of the year, and those are the equinoxes, that would be the vernal equinox in the spring and the autumnal equinox in the fall. On those two days, the sun is located on the celestial equator. And on those days, the sun will rise directly east and set directly west. Now, the celestial equator is pictured here in the blue. And that is goes always through the east and west points of the horizon. So on those days where the sun is on the celestial equator, it will rise in the east and set in the west. However, when it is not on the celestial equator, the path of the sun is actually shown here. That is called the ecliptic. When it is elsewhere, it can be either above or below the celestial equator and will therefore either rise to the north of east or rise to the south of east, depending on the year on the time of year. Now let's take a look at that a little bit more. So let's look in the northern hemisphere at a latitude of about 40 degrees just for an example here. And what we find is that in the summer, the sun will rise north of east and set north of west. And again, this is for the northern hemisphere. So here we see the sun. Here's the celestial equator. That's where the sun would be on the equinox. But on the in this case, on the solstice, the summer solstice, the sun actually will set a lot further north of west. So it not, does not rise directly, rise and set, or sorry, rise directly in the east and set directly in the west on this day. It will actually rise off to the north of east and set to the north of west, giving it a very long path in the sky. And we see that in the summer when the sun was, is up for a very long period of time. Now in the winter, it's just the opposite. In the winter, the sun will rise south of east and set south of west. And we can see that here as well. So there is the sun, there is the west point. And the sun is setting a little bit to the south of west, not exactly west. The only times when that will occur are on those two days that we previously talked about, the equinoxes, when the sun's path actually leads it and leaves it on the celestial equator. Now, as an aside, what happens if you get farther north or south from a typical latitude where a lot of people live? Well, we do end up with locations where the sun may not rise or set at all. And we call these the Arctic and Antarctic regions. So what we see here's an example and we've taken an example of looking at the sun at a from a latitude of 75.3 degrees north. Now, if we look at that, we see that the paths of the sun are shown here. And the path of the sun on the summer solstice is up here. It is above the horizon. So the sun will reach its highest point here. It'll reach its lowest point over here. But even its lowest point does not dip it below the horizon. On the equinox, yes, the sun will, will rise over here in the east. In fact, exactly in the east. Get up in the sky, come back down, and set exactly in the west. Your location does not matter where every place on the earth on the equinox will have the sun rise in the east and set in the west. And on the winter solstice, you can see here that even at its highest point, the sun never actually gets up over the horizon. So we can then see the path of the sun is very different depending on where we are on Earth. But no matter where you are, the sun will only rise directly east and set directly west on two days of the year. So let's finish up with a quick summary here. And what we've looked at is that the sun does rise directly in the east and set directly in the west only on the two equinoxes. At other times, the sun will rise north of east in the summer south of east in the winter for the northern hemisphere. And we mentioned briefly that there are some regions that see days where the sun will either not never rise or never set. So that concludes this discussion on the sun rising in the east and setting in the west. We'll be back again next week for another misconception in astronomy. 
So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.